Hey guys, so um, last time we went through how to create championships in Just Race Beta version 2 and uh, check the standings and a few other things, but we did not actually go through how to create the events for the championships just because it wasn't ready and we have finished the beta version for that, so um, that's what we're going to demonstrate today. And for the sake, let's just create um, a new championship. Um, let's say, I don't know, before, let's see. and I'm going to create a new series for this. I'm going to choose my community, I name it P4, save, and Australia, Tomobilista 2. <clears throat> two. I'm going to leave these um, default. Even these for now. And I'll upload some default points. Leaving these empty. I'll put a poster. And the thumbnail is automatically generated from the poster. Let's go with that. Looks good. Save. And I'm going to choose a trace because that's what I use, this community, and there it is. So as you can see, there are um, no cars yet, and data are default because we have not created any events. So I think events, it's, it's easy. Um, you can just click on this button. You'll be presented with a couple of servers because if you have JRSM running on multiple servers linked to your account, they will all show here. So I'm just going to choose one. And uh, these are the options for Automobilista 2 general settings and session settings, where you choose the class and the cars and the tracks. And the practice qualify and race. Um, we also have the functionality to link a practice server, which will start automatically depending on what you configure. We'll go through this shortly. The weather, realism and aids, damage and penalties, and FUM posters, event, track, class, car poster, and info. And you can also load all this data from a template. So before I have created a schedule and the 4P4 and saved it. So you can save as many templates you want. I'm gonna select this template. And as you can see, it automatically populates all the, uh, all the properties I have. If I make a change, Let's say, I don't know, I want to change this one here. I can save templates. I can choose to overwrite my template or create a new one. So up to you, you can have as many as you want. And uh, yeah, let's go by these default settings for now, just to show um, how it works. And here you can choose change the class or the cars, track, etc. Let's choose a few posters as well. These posters will be shown later on. I had saved these in the template. And that's it. Um, save schedule. And there it is. I have a race, spa on 29th May. Now, of course, you'll have more than one um, event. And instead of going to add a new race, I can hit clone, choose a server. You can choose a different server if you want. And the clone will load the previous data from the um, first race 
usually the settings are the same so you know i mean um practice qualifying race and the do order and stuff i mean up to you you can change whatever you want but as you can see everything has been loaded from the previous um from the previous event so all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the track butters for example uh, you can see the image got updated automatically because it was already on our server and i'm gonna change the name and change the date <clears throat> i'm gonna increase it by a week and it's gonna be a one-off in this case you can have looping sessions which means it's one schedule the server does not die it keeps looping through the sessions one off this one which means it will do practice qualify race whatever you set and then it dies or it will repeat the sessions or you can have a practice server but for this championship we're gonna choose one off and that's it i'm gonna save And there you go, you have the second event. Let's say I want to create the third one. I'm just gonna go quick now. I'm gonna clone it, server. I'm gonna change track. I don't know, whatever. Running then. Name. Change the date. By a week and that's it same same sessions same settings you can create an event in like a few seconds you can of course go and edit um the uh session if you want i don't know change whatever you want and just uh just save you can delete it of course and if we go into these two um menus which is um you can go race by championship or events as you can see it's automatically there so the users will automatically be able to view the championship and all the races belonging to the championship and they can just register um, as an admin, I can also edit or delete the event from here. This part is not ready yet, it's under development, so I won't click on anything. Um, you can also, users can also um, search by events. So um, I have these highlighted at the moment. I'm gonna remove everything. These are all the events, but if users want to search by specific communities, um can filter there and i can filter by game again so as you can see loading i think yeah as you can see i can filter for events for a specific game and specific community i can also filter by season so let's say i remove these and go p4 and that will uh, will also um filter by by championship for me so it's easy for users who want to see only specific events same with championships i can filter by community game and and series and if i go back it um it remembers as well what I have chosen. So let's say, for example, if I want only Automobilista, if I go to Championships, it will only show me Automobilista and Championships and Events. Um, so it, it 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 remembers your choice. Yeah, and and if you go to Standings, it will be there as well. Um, there is nothing yet. There is no um 
no results so it won't show anything but the moment the event is finished and the uh, races are is uploaded to the server it will automatically show here so you can also go to schedule events so you don't have to schedule an event for a championship so um yeah go to schedule events select the server select the game and you can do the same thing and load a template if you want and uh, change whatever you want choose the event preset and uh, and save and the event will automatically show to the event sections let's create one i'm gonna go there choose another list let's choose um as i did before um color a cup and I don't know blah 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 nice and track yeah, that's it and is there in the events there you go and grsm the dedicated server app will start this event automatically in 15 days and you can also go edit from here I mentioned before. Yeah, that's uh, that's it for now, and uh, thanks for watching.